Yeah, I was just minding my fucking business. And um, I'm subscribed to BET. I like, I like fucking with BET because they always, they always doing some bull. I always putting out some bullshit. So um, I watched this video. It was called What Happens When You Sign a Record Deal? And it had too short on the thumb. And in the video, you know, they're always so one-sided. I hate when, um, I don't hate shit. I just, I'm, you know, I hate when, I don't, I'm not a hater, but I don't like when, like, these complexes and these BT, they try to uh, make videos about the music business because they're so fucking one-sided. You know what I mean? And it's a, and that's such, it's such a contradiction because they tell you, it's like, um, no, they're trying to educate you young artists on the music business. But all they do, they're interviewing a bunch of artists who signed the major record deals. But then they're, they're, they're trying to tell you, oh, um, don't sign a, don't sign a record deal. Don't sign a record deal. But all the, the only artists that uh, BET and Complex promotes are signed artists. But then y'all want to make a video telling the independent artists, don't sign, don't sign. It's like y'all are full of shit because... Um, it's like they're full of shit, you know what I mean? And they're try now they're trying to use this whole old indie route, uh, go indie, go independent because it's trendy. But it's like at the end of the day, y'all are not promoting no independent artists. So for y'all to make a video talking about some don't sign, don't sign, they don't sign your life away, what the fuck are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Like, excuse me, I got fucking nose hair. And I keep fucking my nose keep itching. Yo, if you're an independent artist and I, and I, and I pull up on you, and I pull up on you with, with, with like 30, with like 30, 40 bands, you're going to sign this fucking deal. You ain't about to be, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Like people be fucked up. People be fucked up. You, you're trying to make music and you're trying to, you're trying to make a name for yourself and you might not have no money. So if a, a, someone like me pulls up, I represent the, a record label. So if I, so if I pull up and I try to sign you to my record label and you know what I'm saying? I got cash for you. You're going to sign. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you don't have no money. You know what I'm saying? And, and they make, and they make, oh, go independent, go independent. But you got Too Short on there who's been signed to like 20 record labels. This motherfucker been signing to record labels since he was a teenager. Now he's 50 years old and you want to put him on as the person to say, to let you know, oh, go independent, go independent. It's like, y'all are full of shit. Y'all are full of shit. Y'all do not promote independent acts. So now it's like, it's, it's so, it's like, now you want to capitalize off, off of my lane. You know what I'm saying? Talking about the music business. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are full of shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, <clears throat> if you're an artist, uh, you got you better sign with somebody because at the end of the day, if you, you know, it's some people that could do it, but I can't really think of any, I can't think of any artist that's truly independent, that doesn't have a manager, that doesn't have a graphic designer, he don't got a videographer, he just uses random videographers. Anybody who came up in the business, they had a fucking team, it was people behind them. And, um, when they say go in, independent, independent, don't sign with nobody. I'm an independent record label, so it's saying don't sign with nobody. It, it just it's a big ass contradiction, and it's like it's full of shit. You want to ask D. Dot Angeletti, you know, someone who signed a record deal 30 years ago, 20, 30 years ago, and and try to make it seem relevant now. Like it's it's different situations. The music business is different. The way money is made in the music business is different. So yeah, there's 360 deals, and people be going after publishing. But that doesn't make the uh, the record labels a bad bad. You know what I'm saying? It's like this whole oh the record label they like predator they're predators. But what about these artists? I think some of these artists are fucking their predatory. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to get over on people who who uh, want to invest in them, and then when it's time to, to pay back on the investment, then they want to look at you like what the who the, you know what I mean? It's it's like um it's it's bullshit. It's bullshit. And um <clears throat> if you're young. You're in your fucking 18. You don't know shit about the business. You do need an OG sometimes to teach you, oh, this, this, that. Yeah, that OG may be wanting to get his PC because ain't nobody in their 30s, 40s trying to work for free. We got to get money, man. We got kids and shit. You know what I mean? It's like, it's it's so fucking one-sided, man. I could go on and on about this shit, man. I just, I hate when BET and Complex, they full of shit when they try to make these music business videos about, oh, don't sign, don't sign, don't take the money, don't take the money. You're going to take this money. I come pull up at your house with, with motherfucking 30000 you're going to take this fucking money. Um, and, and, and you should, and you should, because you got shit that you got to do. You got family you got to take care of. You know what I'm saying? Don't listen to that fucking bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you can find a good independent uh, label to work with, then that's what's up. Sign with them and work with them. And, uh, you know, make the most out of the situation. Like, look at uh, someone like Wiz Khalifa. Um, 
you know, he signed with an independent label, Rostrum Records. They were independent at the time. And then they, you know, he built his career up. And then when things opened up, he got into a bigger um, label situation. And that's just how it works. And now I think if, if Wiz Khalifa uh, fulfills his contract, then he could go independent. And now he's so famous now, he can go independent and make a bunch of money. But don't believe that. And you ain't about to make no money. I mean, you can make a little money independent, but... You know, don't be buying that shit. Don't be buying that shit they're trying to sell you. Don't sign no contract. Contract is good. Yeah, read your contract. Make sure, you know, you're not giving up uh, the lion's share of your um, of your, 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 your copyright and your work and your publishing. But don't 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 believe that shit, man. Uh, joint ventures are the shit. You know what I mean? Like, if, if, you know, I like 50-50 partnerships. You know, um, don't believe that shit you see on them fucking complex and BT. They're full of shit. That's the, that's the biggest place of misinformation on the fucking internet, the mainstream media. Don't believe that shit. Don't sign a fucking record there. You, you, you fucking sitting at home hungry, your mom fucking about to lose her house, and fucking Diddy pulls up with 50000 for you. You better sign that motherfucking contract. You better make the most out of that shit. I don't know what the fuck they talking about. Like, when you broke and you hungry, it's, it's so easy to get all these artists that's millionaires now to get in and talk bad about the record labels after they fulfilled their agreement. Or it's so easy for someone who's already had a $100,000 check to tell you, oh, don't do this and don't spend, don't go to the Gucci store and buy fucking uh, $500 scarves because it's a waste of money. It's so easy to say that, but when you don't got a fucking Gucci scarf, you want to, you know what I mean? It's like, that, don't believe that shit, man. Do what you feel is right. Don't be dumb. Read the fucking contracts, but don't, don't believe that fucking shit. You want to listen to Too Short. That motherfucker had more record deals than anybody. They're so full of fucking shit. Don't believe that shit.